My name is Dr. Serena Anand Chancellor, NASA astronaut, and I recently flew on board Expedition 56 and 57 to the International Space Station. You know, I think as you're going through school, people are going to ask, hey, what do you want to do when you grow up, right? Not that you're not growing. Um, where do you see yourself? And, and you may have these grand dreams. I mean, I wanted to be an astronaut since I was eight. And I, I love it. A lot of people, uh, the first thing they would tell me is how hard that was going to be. That was the first thing out of their mouth. Now, my family, my parents, my sisters always said, great, no problem. But there are going to be folks who tell you that's going to be really hard and already try and set that kind of negative expectation on you. So what I tell a lot of students is, you know what, don't pay attention to any of those people. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or can't do. Absolutely. Be perseverant. You know, you know what you can do in your own mind. No one is ever going to determine that for you. There's no preset course for you out there. Nothing has been predetermined. It's all dependent on you. Honestly, a lot of the science, um, I didn't learn about a lot of the science I was going to be doing until I was up floating around on orbit. And I was very, very impressed at some of the research we did from um, cancer research to research on Parkinson's, Alzheimer's disease. We looked at how muscle loss occurs in space. I even created cement samples to see how we could form cement in microgravity. You know, how would we build habitats on the moon? How would we build habitats on Mars? What is the internal structural quality of that cement look like? I mean, experiments were across the board, and, and it's most of what we spend our day doing, and we loved it because every day we got to click on our timeline and say, what am I doing today? And it was always really cool stuff. When, actually, when I looked at the cupola for the first time, I thought, wow, we're really close to the surface of the Earth. I think people believe we see the Earth as this ball way out, but no, the station orbits really close to the surface. And so it was really neat, especially at nighttime, to see all the cities lit up, to be passing, you know, we're traveling at 17,500 miles an hour over the surface of the Earth, and to see cities alive, to see the Earth alive, it's, it's really hard to describe that. What I would tell any young student, so first people say, hey, would you go to Mars? And I say, I think I'm a little too old to go to Mars. It's that younger generation that's gonna be going. And what I would tell students is, Man, the state of your space station, the state of your space program is strong. And if you never ever imagined yourself working for the space program, engineer, chemistry, biochemistry, even historian, you know, we need you to come work for us. So picture yourself working with us. Don't think it's an impossibility. I, I want to set that bit early that students think that it's only for the smartest and the brightest. And a lot of us, we just work hard. We work hard until we learn the material we need. We work hard. Um, to make sure we get our jobs done and all of us work for the space program and so I'd love to see students be able to envision that in their head really early on.